Hello everyone, Code Purpose here. Guess what? From today and so on, we are starting and trying to solve as many exercises from codechief.com beginner exercises. So now we start with the first exercise from their collection. This exercise is called ATM. Let's start and read the text of the exercise. It says Poya would like to withdraw X US dollar from an ATM. The cash machine will only accept the transaction if X is multiple of 5. So if X isn't a multiple of 5, we have a successful or incorrect withdrawal. Also, we'll have the Poya's account if Poya's account balance has enough cash to perform the withdrawal transactions, including bank charges. For each successful withdrawal, the bank charges an extra 0.5 US dollar. Calculate the Poya's account balance after the attempted transaction. No, as input, we have an X, which is a integer number between 0 and 2000. And in the second line, we have a non-negative number between 0 and 2000 also, which will be with two digit precisions and we'll have a float number there. So, to this x, we'll have to charge or add an extra 0 0.5. Okay. And the output should be the balance after the attempted transaction given as a number with two digits of precision. If there is not enough money in the account, complete the transaction, output the current balance. So we have three examples. If we have a successful transaction, there we have $30 for withdrawal from 120. We see as output 89.5. Why is that? Because we need to have to add the extra charges 0.5 dollar from the bank it will be 30.5 and 120 minus minus 30.5 would be 89.5 also we have two unsuccessful transactions the first one if, if the request amount isn't a multiple of five then we just get the result the balance what was before we wanted to make the transaction also the same goes if we want to withdraw more money that's there in the bank for example if we have 120 dollars <coughs> in the bank we can maximally withdraw 119.5 us dollars so let's start the exercise firstly we'll include the library eosni which tells the compiler to that we'll use uh, commands that are included in the input output stream which are seen in c out so we'll tell the compiler also that we'll use commands that are located in the namespace standard with the shortcut stand the std and we have the main program structure which will return zero if the program is finished successfully. So for start, we have to get two numbers, X and Y. And uh, because there in those exercises, you can't output text, input the X or input the Y or input the amount. We just make direct thin. So we have to read the both values together sin x and y and what we are going to do now firstly we have to check if uh, the x is a multiple of 5 if x isn't a multiple of 5 then directly we will have to output the result so if x model 5 is different than 0 and we'll we need to make x integer so the 
model operation function will be normal there we go the error is isn't there now so if isn't a multiple of five we just output the value of epsilon so oh, how we check if a number isn't a multiple of five uh, if a number is divisible by that number by a number in this case five that would be the multiple of that number in this case five so when a number is divisible by another number a number is divisible by another number when by dividing with that number the remainder is zero and when it is not divisible when the remainder is different than zero in this case we say while dividing by five we have a remainder which isn't zero is in this case one two three four then see out the y we had another case here what if uh, we have we haven't got enough amount for withdrawal so we'll just make another float total amount which will be the sum of x plus 0 0.5 dollars and also we'll add that here or if the total amount is greater then our epsilon our uh, phones in the bank epsilon represents the phones in the bank just do the same input the current phones in the bank another situation which is we have enough cash to withdraw we just output the epsilon minus total amount and let's just get test those first case we have 30 and 120 and we get 119.5 why is that total amount oops the total amount would be x plus 0 0.5 but after reading the value of x not before reading it okay that happens 0 0.00 and now we have 89.5 that's great now next we have 42 120.00 we have 120 because 42 is the multiple of 5 also we have the third to attempt when we have we haven't enough pounds to withdraw that would be under again also if we read uh, like this 120 and 120.00 we get 120 because there are no withdrawal would be able because we need to have an extra 0 0.5 to charge charges from the bank which would be we need to have amount 0 0.5 more than the sum we need to pay so let's take this copy go to the submit button okay there here is here the c plus plus bcc add there run test if there an error but we run rep two okay it run let's submit submit waiting waiting still waiting submit on queue so uh as i said in the beginning uh, we are going to try and solve as many exercises as we can and explain to you stay turned for more here we have that the, the status of this exercise is solved correctly in a perfect timing that's all for this exercise thanks for watching leave a subscribe leave a like also and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we add another 
exercise tutorial about those topics. Thanks again for watching, see you soon, quote purpose.